overflow system for my aquarium. I got the pump down there, shut off switch here so if the water gets too low, it doesn't burn my pump up. I got that wired down here to the negative on my power supply right here which is running down here and then I've got the other end of this switch running back to the pump and I've ran an LED right here to the positive side of my power supply and back to the switch on this switch now I have the power wire coming up through this switch through this switch and back to the pump and the reason I'm doing oh, here we go through this switch here and then through this switch these are floating switches and back to the pump and I got a 12 volt power supply and the reason I did this is because I read on forums that a lot of these people are only using one switch in their aquarium and what happens is the switch comes on gets stuck up and the aquarium overflows because the switch is stuck and it pumps all the water from the bucket into the aquarium and overflows the aquarium. So I put two switches and I'm going to run them one a little higher than the other like this so when the water comes up and kicks the switch on and fills the tank up if this switch gets stuck up it'll hit this switch and kill it so it won't overflow all over the floor. Um, then I have this LED down here right here that tells me if I show you right here I hold the LED right here see the LED if I hit the switch down here for my bucket empty the switch it'll tell me if my bucket's empty and I have that on the outside of my aquarium so that I'll know when the bucket's empty and it kills the power to the pump so it doesn't keep burning my pump up and this is all 12 volt system the way you're supposed to do it not don't be hooking house power right up to these switches and running it into water because that's not safe you only want 12 volts so if it, if it is electrocuting the water it's not going to kill you when you stick your hand in there all right thank you for watching later